I'd like to talk a bit about the effects of music with Alzheimer's patients. Let's start with this clip from the movie Alive Inside. Just before this lady is asked about her childhood, she states that she just can't remember and then music is introduced. Oh, here's singing when the saints go by, marching by, and it takes me back to my school days. I would like to hit the number. Mama told us not to go listen to him. We would sneak off at night, bring back pictures in the dance. And I worked in King County nine years. He lived in King My birthday, November 20th. I traveled in the wartime. I was working at Fort Jackson, and my son, on February the 4th, was 69. <laughs> I didn't know I could talk so much. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia. According to the Alzheimer's Association, over 6 million Americans are currently living with Alzheimer's. This subject is dear to my heart as I've personally used my music therapy with my patients affected by Alzheimer's when I worked in a long-term care facility as a nurse's aide. Since then, I've done research through the movie Alive Inside and along with websites for the Amer Alzheimer's Association and the Music and Memory Organization. Today, I will be explaining what Alzheimer's is, the effects that music has on those affected by it and the music and memory program in Texas nursing homes. Alzheimer's is a progressive and fatal illness that affects memory, thinking, and behavior. While there are still many unknowns, scientists believe that Alzheimer's happens as a result of damage and death to nerve cells in the brain. The Alzheimer's Association says that autopsy studies show that plaques and tangles develop in most individuals as they age. However, those with Alzheimer's disease tend to develop them in much larger quantities and in a predictable pattern, beginning in areas important for memory. There are three general stages of Alzheimer's. In early or mild stage Alzheimer's, individuals may retain their independence although they may have difficulty remembering familiar words and the location of everyday objects. The longest of the three, middle or moderate stage Alzheimer's, is characterized by increased confusion and forgetfulness along with symptoms such as personality and behavioral changes. Individuals become much more dependent during this stage on their loved ones and caregivers to complete their activities of daily living or their ADLs. In late stage or severe Alzheimer's, affected individuals require care 24 seven. At this stage, they may have difficulty communicating and or experience changes in their physical abilities, including walking, sitting, and eventually swallowing. Now that we know what Alzheimer's is, let's talk about how music can help those suffering from it. Recent studies suggest that individualized music-based intervention shows a decrease in the negative moves and behavior associated with Alzheimer's. Dr. Oliver Sacks, a British neurologist, states that in the movie Alive Inside, music is inseparable from emotion. He continues that if it works at all, it will call the whole person the many different parts of the brain and the memories and emotions that go with it. He said the parts of the brain which are involved in remembering music and responding to the music are not affected too much in Alzheimer's disease or other dementias. According to the Music and Memory Organization websites on November 10th, 2021, a three-year study done by the Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing at UC Davis found that personalized music is associated with a reduction in the amount of antipsychotic medications and fewer distress symptoms.
Therefore, the use of antipsychotic drugs declined by 13% and anti-anxiety medications declined by 17% each quarter. The odds of depressive symptoms decreased 16% per quarter and the odds of pain decreased 17% per quarter, resulting in the number of days on medications declined by 30% and aggressive behaviors reduced by 20%. I've discussed what Alzheimer's is and how music affects individuals with the disease. Now I'll cover what the state of Texas is doing with it. According to their website on November 10th, 2021, in 2015, Texas Health and Human Services began their pilot program with 32 nursing homes. As of July 2017, this number increased to more than 400 homes. The goal of the program is to help residents engage with the world and reconnect through specific music triggered memories. Texas Health and Human Services uses existing civil monetary penalty funds to certify and provide 15 iPods to nursing homes that participate in the program. Family members and staff then create personal playlists on these electronic music players. While working in a long-term care facility, I got to experience firsthand what personalized music can do for individuals with Alzheimer's. One of my very favorite residents, Nana, was in her late stages and was completely de dependent upon staff for all of her ADLs. And sadly, she couldn't remember very much from one minute to the next. I was performing patient care on her roommate when I had music playing in my pocket. I then noticed Nana over there kicking and tapping her feet to the music on the other side of the curtain. And I still remember how shocked I was 25 minutes later when she asked me if we were going to Jackson. Jackson by Johnny Cash and June Carter then became the song that got her out of bed every morning in a good mood. We would dance and <clears throat> listen to music every day after that, and it most definitely gave her a better quality of life. We've covered what Alzheimer's is, the benefits of music to reach individuals by it, and the Texas Music and Memory Program. Edward Bueller Lighton once said, once music once admitted to the soul becomes a sort of spirit and never dies.